What's up, gang? Sunday, April 2nd. Glad you guys enjoyed my uh, little April Fool's joke I played on. You got something green in the shop today. And it's not in here for repairs. It's actually in here to get a rear hitch put on it. I'm going to make up a rear hitch for it for one of my neighbors. He just picked this up. And the Craftsman's on the back burner for a couple of different reasons. Uh, first reason, I'm going to try and locate uh, an engine for it. And there is a auction going on auction barn here this Wednesday where a lot of these engines show up, usually dirt cheap. So I'm going to go with a neighbor of mine. In fact, the neighbor that owns the uh, John Deere there. And with the wonderful plastic hoods that always break. You guys pay way too much for that plastic crap. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm going to try to locate a motor and keep my pool on together. The reason I want to keep my pool on together is I got that 54 inch deck and I got to looking at it and something just didn't jive with me and I was trying to connect the dots. Uh, well, if we take a look at the 48 inch deck here, we can see this bale that it has. And that bale is correct for that craftsman. Then we look at this deck. There is no provision for a bale. Okay. These two pieces here, they would transfer over to those rear brackets there. But they are not correct for it. What is correct for this is a single connection point in the front using that hole right there and since we're already down here if we look over here at the poulon there's the single attachment point I already measured everything this 54 inch deck is for this poulon for a poulon of, uh, of a similar model so this deck will just go right in place of this 48 inch deck that's on there that's why I put the Craftsman on the back burner because now the Poulon can be my 54 inch mower uh, providing that the motor uh, can handle the extra six inches of deck and I don't mow crazy and I don't mow deep I, I mow my grass real tall so I don't see where it's going to be an issue so those are two reasons why the Craftsman is on the back burner the 48 inch deck will go back on the Craftsman once I do get it repowered and once I do get it repowered, uh, it may then just go ahead and go up for sale since uh, I do not have a 54 inch deck for it, which was the whole reason uh, behind me wanting to put it back into service for myself. But I had two different plans. One was to keep it for myself. The other one was to flip it. So I'll get it all cleaned up, power washed. Put all new idler pulleys and everything in it so far it needs three idler pulleys i'll get the steering tightened up lube everything get it in as good a shape as as it can be in uh, make sure that the engine that i get is healthy and this will make somebody a real good riding mower and i shouldn't get hurt because uh, those engines that we can usually pick up at this uh, barn sale is in the conservatively in the 50 to 125 dollar range uh, at the auction barn so we'll see what happens and what pans out so for now the craftsman is on hold um, until I source an engine for it I'll be doing little things to it here and there cleaning it up and and whatnot but nothing really video worthy so I'm going to get busy on making this hitch. After I get done making the hitch, I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's just real quick, down and dirty, removable uh, hitch. He just wants a bolt going through it, tall enough so that he can move his boat around his property. We're flatlanders here, so there's no hills for him to worry about, and there's enough tongue weight on it. But he doesn't want to have to hitch and unhitch the ball itself, so he just wants a good stout bolt put in there so that he can... Uh, move his boat around his little property. He's just got a little half acre or so. But anyway, that about sums it up. Uh, I'm glad I 
got some laughs yesterday that was a lot of fun for me i'm glad you guys enjoyed it too uh, as well as the toolbox tour that was just a quick little generic one but um glad you guys enjoyed that as well and look for more to come it's spring spring has sprung people are starting to come out of the woodwork so some projects uh, will be coming in that uh, will certainly be video worthy so i promise i will catch you guys on the next one this is zippo later guys uh oh where's my button later i'm out of here hey gang about five o'clock i've got myself all kinds of tired I'm working my tail off trying to find a place to set the camera let me set it right here for just a second told you I was working on the uh, hitch and here's what I've got just a gusset plate here just to strengthen that's where the pins gonna go through I'll weld it back here and I'm gonna have a brace that's gonna go this way I'll bring it down here and show you how it'll mount We've got that lip right there, so this will just sit right up in there, just like that. And then I will have a brace that will come down and just meet this here. That way, it's easily removable. Just pop it right off, and uh, and old Smitty will be up and running to the races. He wants to still be able to use that for his tra little yard cart. So this here won't uh, won't get in the way because it'll just be a small piece that he can just lift off like that and set in the corner. All he wants it for is just to move his boat in and out of his um, little barn up there. So. But it's 5 o'clock, Zippo's tired, I've still got to move all the tractors back in, so I quit. <laughs> That's it. That was today's fun. Sorry it didn't take you long for the ride, but I'd have been out of here till 7.30, 8 o'clock instead of 5 o'clock. But uh, you can pretty much see what near the end result is that's just a piece of angle iron there that I just stitch welded gave that channel which is the exact width of this piece with this rollover lip on it there so anyway enough of this all right guys I'll catch you all in the next one later I and just when you think the day is over, it's not quite over. I got all my veggies, so I'm going to sit here while I'm drinking my coffee and having a smoky treat. And get the garden veggies started. This year's flavors are the same as last. Zucchini, bush beans. Summer squash, various colored peppers, and this year I need to put up, of course, tomato plants, um, but I buy those already sprouted. Um, this year I've got to fence in the bush beans, because for the last two years the rabbits have had their way with my beans. so. I've got the fence out there in the shop and I've got a hundred feet of it and it'll go around the area where I plant the green beans but I've got to get started on getting the garden ready to turn over it's never ending see you guys on the next one later Mo.